Cloud storage refers to the process of saving data to an off-site storage system or remote database to store files more effectively. But did you know this growing trend is just under a bigger umbrella called cloud computing? Now join me as I go into a nosebleed this morning, but to explain to us this concept, we have in the studio Jonathan Bukaling, who is the president of Ultimax Cloud. Good morning to you, Jonathan. Good morning. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me here. I'm very intimidated by your topic this morning, but however, I am very interested. Now, in the simplest way you can, please explain cloud computing. Okay. <clears throat> when we say cloud, it's a metaphor of an internet. Okay. And computing is a running software or mm -hmm. a running program over the server on a remote access. Okay. That's the cloud computing. Meaning to say anybody could just access the, from anywhere. From anywhere, the program over mobile mm -hmm. or even in a regular desktop mm -hmm. on a remote access anywhere using an internet. And that's the cloud computing. Okay. So and if I may, sure. in a broad sense, uh -huh. it is the modern kind of network wherein you don't really have to make to, to have a local server in your office. Okay. Rather, you simply have to outsource the server outside that has a real good in a real good <clears throat> bandwidth, for mm -hmm. example. Oh uh, well. <clears throat> for example, <laughs> in you, good bandwidth in the Philippines is a little difficult to attain, right. but go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> correct. So <clears throat> What, uh, what you want to do here is you rather have to outsource mm -hmm. the, the servers outside the Philippines, probably in the U.S., okay. in Europe, that has enough bandwidth to run all your program so that all your user or the members of the closed network mm -hmm. could be able to access freely uh, the program anywhere they want. Okay, so if we were to paint a picture with words, it would be like the name itself, cloud. It's like a giant cloud over the earth that people can access from anywhere in the world. Right. Am I on point so far? Yeah, correct. Okay. So as I said, uh, cloud is a metaphor of... Or the internet itself. Cloud is a metaphor yeah. of, in, of the internet. Mm -hmm. Then uh, any, anybody uh, can, make use, uh, can, can make use of an access of an internet mm -hmm. using the mobile devices right, like right. iPhone, iPad, regular mm -hmm. desktop, sure. anywhere they want. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Now let's talk about the uh, the architecture of the cloud computing system. So you have the front end, which is the the clients themselves, and then mm -hmm. you have the back end, which mm -hmm. is the network itself, okay. the internet. Okay. Let me expand it a little bit more. Yes, please. <clears throat> uh, there are three critical parts or uh, components of mm -hmm. the cloud computing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Definitely, you have the server. Sure. You call it infrastructure cloud. Infrastructure cloud. Okay. Okay. I'm writing down notes. Okay. <laughs> And you mentioned about front end. Front end, yes. It talks about the mobile phone, mm -hmm. iPhone, regular desktop. Mm -hmm. It's a client side. In other words, it's what the, we see basically. What yeah. you see mm -hmm. basically, what you use, uh, what, what you actually use every day. And uh, the, the the third part is, you call it the middleware or the enabling technologies. You call it platform. So that's between the front end and the back end. That's, that's what bridges that connection. Right, oh, correct. Okay, interesting. So uh, it's like a uh, it's like a software. Mm -hmm. We call it like a uh, an ERP, an enterprise uh, enterprise. <laughs> an enterprise. What's the ERP? ERP? Okay. Uh, resource platform. Resource platform. Okay. It tends to enables the network or the server uh -huh. and uh, to connect. The, the program to the end client or mini, uh, or to the customer. Mm -hmm. It's the, uh, the platform is the machine to enable the, uh, the program to run mm -hmm. over any iPhone or any iPad. Okay, so for example, um, I want to order pizza. Okay. And so my front end is my mobile phone and I can open an app that okay. allows me to order pizza from this, this place. Okay. And so the middleware or the ERP would be the, the software, the program that runs that whole mechanism, is that what you're saying? Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. Correct. It's not that hard to understand. <laughs> yeah, it's so, pretty, so pretty the, easy to understand. So um, my inner geek is waking up this morning, thanks okay. to you. So let's talk about web-based emails. Uh, a lot okay. of us, we use Yahoo Mail, or I personally, I use Gmail. Okay. Um, is that a form of a cloud storage or cloud computing? Okay, to make, to make it uh, very easy, let's differentiate. What kind, okay. what, what kind of networks are we having right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have, we call a private cloud. A private and cloud, the okay. public cloud. When we say email, it talks about the public cloud. Meaning to say anybody could just access the email freely mm -hmm. they wanted. And uh, 
it has a free server up there in the cloud. When we say uh, up there in the cloud, <laughs> there is somebody somewhere. who's hosting, <laughs> yeah. hosting the server, which is like, for example, Gmail, Yahoo, yeah, Google, Yahoo. Mm -hmm. and uh, other, other uh, uh, big, servers, uh, big yeah. servers providers. And you simply have to access the emails uh, anywhere just you want. Just go to the domain, yeah. Yes, right, just okay. go to the domain and, or maybe probably go to the app and you could access it anywhere, uh -huh. anytime. What's the private cloud? And the cloud? private cloud is a closed network run by a, run by a particular company that is only limited to its members. So, for example, for example, board members, uh, the executive. Okay, for example, like uh, the salesforce.com. Okay. okay. For you to be able to access the salesforce.com, mm. you need to be a member. It's only limited to a member. It's a sub, uh, uh, in the form of subscription. Okay, okay, which costs money. It, that costs money, <laughs> right. Right. And uh, when you subscribe for a, uh, for a Salesforce, definitely mm -hmm. you have to uh, subscribe for it and mm -hmm. you have to pay for a monthly thing for mm -hmm. it, right? Yeah. However, on the other hand, uh, on the public cloud, when you have to sign up for a regular Yahoo or Gmail, you, don't really, have to, you yeah, don't really have to free. pay for anything, right? Yeah. That's for free. So that's the difference between the public cloud and the, and pri the, and the oh. public cloud. Okay, cloud. okay, that, now it makes so much more sense. Um, does that mean like if we, if we have cloud storage, that means our files are safer? Uh, yes and no. Okay, okay, that's a tricky one, all okay, right. Okay, right. Um, even in a localized network, meaning to say even you have, uh, even to a, certain, to a certain extent, you have to provide your own server in the office. Mm -hmm. There's always a race on it, right? Sure, yeah. And uh, there's no, there, there's no difference of running it over the cloud. Oh, okay. Again, there's uh, both whether you have to run it over a private cloud or or uh, public a public one. cloud. Right. There's always a risk. Mm -hmm. Okay. However, the one of the major advantages of the cloud, if I may, sure, is of course you don't really have to provide your own server yeah. anymore in your office. Right. You don't really have to provide your own uh, PC mm -hmm. in your office. Mm -hmm. You can make use of your iPhone, iPad mm -hmm. to to do your own. Just tether that, yeah. To, to, yeah, to, to do your uh, your uh, your official transactions right. in the office. So okay, it's making sense to me, but also I would like to learn more now. For our viewers who do want to learn more about cloud computing and all that, are, can they reach you somewhere? Do you have a page or an account they can yeah. reach you to? Yeah. Uh, so we are we we are an Ultimax cloud mm -hmm. in the Philippines. We position ourselves as a pioneering in the mobile cloud computing. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we combine both the cloud computing and yeah. the mobile computing. That's great. In other words, we combine the cloud computing and the mobile networks mm -hmm. applications. Mm -hmm. So we would like to provide, uh, we would like to provide uh, a mobile app for the offices, uh, yeah. campuses, Mm -hmm. uh, churches and anybody who would like you to cover run, all bases. Cover all bases. How do they over reach the, you? Over the app. How do they reach you guys? They could reach us over uh, www at www.ultimaxcloud.com okay. or uh, uh, on our Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, they could probably uh, reach us over a symposia. We okay. will be doing our, our sympo symposium in uh, Singapore soon. Oh, okay. And, uh, in All that information will be on the website, www.ultimaxcloud.com. I wish we had more time. Something like this needs more time. But nonetheless, I am so glad you came and you stopped by the show. Thank you so much. That is Jonathan. This is Jonathan Bukaling, the president of Ultimax Cloud. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, mom.